Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna talk about the patch, uh, but I just finished an eight hour long stream, so I may look a bit destroyed. <laughs> um, I talked about the patch on stream already for like an hour, but that's too long, so I wanted to make a shorter video uh, specifically for uh, you guys on YouTube. I'm gonna talk about Lily's changes, uh, I will not talk about every single change, but I will mention all the stuff I like, I really like, and the stuff I really don't like. So, um, I'm gonna start with Lily's changes. I'm really happy with her changes. Forward 3 is a counter hit launcher now. It tells spins on counter hit. You can get a pretty beefy combo from, uh, from it. Uh, for those of you who don't play Lily, it's a mid-homing move that is safe, the range is quite crappy. Um, and it's also quite slow, 20 frames. Uh, so while it is a counter hit launcher, I cannot land it very often. Uh, I was playing Lily for a long time today and I didn't land it even once. <laughs> But it's still a very nice change, and uh, I'm glad she finally got something again. It's it's definitely gonna help, even if a little bit. And another change I really like is down 1 plus 2. It got fixed, it's a power crush. It's not really a buff, it's just a fix, because this move should have been working correctly since they introduced it. Uh, the, hit, the hitbox is better now. Um, what I like about this move is that it consistently hits Xiaoyu in AOP, even with AOP down. I'm gonna start using this move more against Xiaoyu players. And uh, back 3 plus 4 is the manual back turn stance transition. It's uh, faster now. Mm, so far, we only know that um, it makes landing some combos a little bit easier, but that's it. Maybe we will find some other stuff with time. And Quadrosuka forward 2 is a pretty fast mid homing move that deals about 14 damage, not much. It's now minus 9 on block instead of minus 10. Is that a huge change? Nope, I think Quadrosuka forward 2 one is still a pretty useless string. But I might use Quadrosuka forward 2 uh, more often now. And I'm really glad that Nina got some buffs. Back to 2 is a homing move now, so it's a great poke. It was a decent poke already, and uh, if I remember correctly it tracked, but now it's a true homing move. Her down back uh, 3 has more damage, wait no, better frames. Oh and this is a nice one, down back 2 is a... Uh, a homing move that counter hit launches. It used to tail spin on counter hit. Now it cro now it stuns the opponent, so she can get a full combo. So yay, more damage for Nina. Uh, that's about it. I'm also happy for Lee players. He got some minor buffs. Oh, uh, oh Miguel, yeah, Miguel has a really ridiculous. Uh, of all buns now. Savage 1-4 is a mid, no, high mid 12 frame wall bounce string that is minus 10 on block, but it has pushback and now it's natural on hit. Such a strong move. Let me know in the comments down below, Miguel players, if uh, you think this change is fair or is it a little bit too much. I want to know your opinions. I'm also happy for Anna players. Her full crouch down for 2 and the unseeable low uh, now gives her a consistent full juggle. She only used to be able to get uh, a mini combo if it hit the opponent at tip range. Uh, somebody said they nerfed keys and keys, but I don't see him on the list. So, I don't know what to say about Geese. Horan got some nice buffs. 
Did he need them? I don't really think so, but okay. Shall you get some nice buffs? She got a new screw, down 3-4. Down back 4 is an annoying low poke, it deals more damage now. Back 2-2 two two was a pretty useless string. It deals more damage now, and the second hit is a counter hit launcher. Uh, it didn't do anything on counter hit before. And uh, her back 3 was a very useless move. It's now minus... Uh, no, it's plus 2 on block now instead of minus 4. So it's more useful now. I mean, it's plus 2 and gives her a uh, transition to back turn stance. Mm, they buffed her... They buffed a low string for her as well. Oh, and uh, she got... Uh, a huge, pretty huge buff on her back turn wall bounce. Back turn 3 is a mid wall bounce that has uh, high evasion and low evasion at the same time. Um, and now it's minus 14 instead of minus 19. It's gonna be harder to punish now. Uh, that buff is quite ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's fair, but I bet Chao Yu players are happy now. Uh, Mr. Croft abused this move versus me today when I had a long set versus him. And uh, the changes nobody likes is are that uh, electrics are harder to punish now on with. But okay, I can survive. Uh, this change. But they also increased the tracking on Kazias and Devilgen's Hell Sweeps. These are super strong lows, unseeable ones. Devilgen's uh, Hell Sweep even launches on normal hit. And now it's gonna be even harder to step them. I mean, Murray got a huge backlash on Twitter and he just said, just block. Uh, I do like Murray, but he should learn how to handle backlash from fans better. And um, this change is definitely not okay. Sidewalk left was always the weakness of uh, this Mishima mix-up. Now you will get hit by the house sweep more often. It is still steppable. I tested it today in real matches with a character that has a regular sidestep. And uh, Lily is still able to sidewalk it pretty easily. So in a way, they buffed Lily. Her sidestep is even more valuable now versus Mishima's. And um, they also buffed Asuka's down 1 plus 2, which is another unseeable low. Uh, I think she used to be able to get a guaranteed forward 2 after it. And... It was pretty inconsistent. Now it's consistent because they reduced the pushback. And this is quite retarded. Even Fergus thinks this is too much. They should nerf uh, down 1 plus 2 and her wall bounce forward 1 plus 2. Uh, those two moves are a bit too much. They nerfed the sidestep in Tekken 7. And they keep buffing uh, unseeable lows and uh, 50 50s. Uh, so you have to guess between 50 50s way more often now. You cannot avoid them with correct movement as often. Uh, I don't like this uh, game design because I really love the movement in Tekken. It's what fascinates me and it's what made me want to learn the game. And uh, I'm not the only one who noticed this trend. Other content creators uh, who talked to me um, said that they noticed this trend as well. Well, it's Namco's design choice. I respect it and um, there's still plenty of things about this game to enjoy. Movement is still quite effective, but... I want my movement back. And uh, I want them to nerf all these ridiculous moves like Hell Sweep. 
it's too much. And um, I'm not the only one complaining. Everyone's complaining about this hell sweep buff. Uh, and when the whole community agrees that something is OP, it's most likely OP and should be nerfed. <sighs> I did notice that Namku started buffing moves that were really useless uh, until now, especially some of uh, Xiaoyu's moves, for example her back, her back 3 and back to 2. I hope they keep fixing, uh, well not fixing, but adjusting moves that are useless now to be more useful in real matches. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'll link down below uh, uh, the patch notes so that you could check them out yourself. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below the video if you think Amy is a cutie. See you next time.